market structure, or MS, is going to help us determine if the market is in an uptrend or downtrend, or bullish or bearish. And going further, when markets are not trending, they're ranging, as we looked at in past lessons. We're going to be going over consolidation and ranging markets as well. So let's get right into it. Identifying swing points. Swing points. These are areas where price has either reached a swing low or a swing high. A swing high is a high that is greater than all other highs positioned around it. A swing low is a low that is lower than all other lows positioned around it. We want to focus on high time frame swing points because this is going to help define our market structure. Understanding the rules of the market structure around bullish markets and bearish markets is going to help us make decisions going forward of what the overall trend is and eventually as we get into time frame analysis how we can trade with the trend and drop our time frames to identify key swing points, possible entries and exits in our trades. So, let's take a look at an example here. No numbers on this chart. What I want you to do is I want you to focus and recognize the areas that are marked swing low, swing low, swing low, swing high, swing high. And now what do I mean by all this? Well, let's start with the swing low. We know that price went to this level and price did not go below it. We can see this by a very large wick. Buyers are present. Almost our dragonfly doji, which we went over in the past candlestick section. And we can see that price has been going up and up and up and up and here is the first indication of sellers and this would be our first swing high price retraces stops bleeding right here the buyers are back in control and the trend resumes up the important thing to focus on is this high this low and this low here is our first swing low here is our second. Here is our swing high. Price broke above this swing high and goes to a new swing high. Price retraces as it runs into a supply zone and sellers are present. See this wick here? We can know that the buyers ran out of steam. And price retraces to a swing low. This swing low, this swing low, this swing low are all key points that are going to help us understand market structure. As we can see, the price rebounded and broke above this swing high. Here is our new swing high. And this pattern is repeating. As we can see, price retraces, it stays above this swing low tries to make a higher high, comes back down, violates this low, making this our previous swing low and our new swing low. This is our point where if this swing high is taken out, what happens? We have a new swing high and a low and another swing high and a new swing low. So recognizing these areas where buyers are stepping in to hold price above previous swing highs, previous swing highs, or sellers are stepping in is key to looking at market structure. Going forward, we're going to be discussing how this is either bullish or bearish and get into the similarities and differences of them. So bullish versus bearish market structure, or MSA for market structure analysis. Bullish is a higher low and a higher high. We just saw that in the example we went over. Bearish 
is a lower high or lower low. The swing points we just went over and going forward are going to help us mark the higher lows and the higher highs of bullish market structure and the lower highs and the lower lows of bearish market structure. When breaking to the upside or downside on each, they can initiate bullish and bearish shifts in market structure. Here's an example of what I'm talking about in terms of market structure exhibiting a bearish trend. We have a high, we have a low, we have one swing point, two swing points. Now we have something to judge off of. Our high comes down in price, rebounds as the buyers step in, but fails to take out this swing high, making it a lower high. Price can't go any higher. It starts to come down and violate this low, making it a lower low. And the pattern repeats, retraces back up, a lower high off of this high, and so on, a lower low. This is bearish market structure. If we look at bullish market structure, which we've seen an example of, we have our low, we have our high. Swing low, swing high. Price retraces, makes a higher low off of this low. Rebounds back to a higher high by taking out this high. And so on. A higher low is made and a higher high. So this is exhibiting bullish market structure. As price is going up, we are making higher highs and higher lows. The importance of swing points is going to help us understand where price should respect. As we have our swing low here, we're breaking up. We have our high, which is our swing point. We are dropping back down, making a higher low and a new swing low. Moving back up, taking out this high, this swing point, and making a higher high, and a new swing high. Price comes back down into a higher low, but it respects this old high. This is an SR flip, which we will go into more later on. Continuing on, we are making a higher low and moving up, and price is making a higher high and taking out this swing point making this the new swing high. If we look at on the bearish market structure setup, we have our swing high, the high point here. We have our swing low, the low point here. We are rebounding up, making our lower high and a new swing point, and breaking down, taking out this low, and making this our new swing low. If you see, as price rebounds back up to make a lower high, it's almost around where our prior swing low was, making this a SR flip zone as well. And we will get into looking at retests of swing lows going forward. Moving on, here's our lower high, making our lower low, taking out this swing point. So let's recap. Swing points help define market structure, or MS. We just saw this in an example of bullish market structure, where price was making higher lows and higher highs in an uptrend. We also saw this in bearish market structure, where price was making lower highs and lower lows in a downtrend. Next, we're going to go over consolidation, contraction, and expansion, and how it all reverts back to bullish market structure and bearish market structure. Mm -hmm.